so guys uh, I've come back to this same place where I was the Dabar Square where you will get so many temples and the history of this country originates from here you know but again yesterday I was asked to pay 1,000 Nepalese rupees because they told me you have to pay for you to get inside so today <laughs> It's free of charge. Everybody is walking in free of charge. Nobody is paying anything. And I feel like it's, it, it, it's a scam to me. <laughs> I feel so bad because why did I pay the 1000 You know, and today it's free of charge to come here. I don't know what you guys think about that. But let me know in the comment box down below. Because if at all you have to pay all the time, then people should be paying all the time. But apparently right now everybody is coming in here free of charge. <laughs> I feel like it was not really, really, really honest. As much as they give you the ticket, but still there's something in it because how come? Anyway, let me know. No, 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 no I don't need any guide. So yesterday I paid money to come in here. Today people are coming in for free. Why? Ah, yesterday you can't <laughs> see the coding there. She's also recording. Why? I'm just asking why. Why not you ask your guide? So um, why did I pay? Like I feel it's, it's really a scam because... So you paid 1,000 for ticket and 1,000 to the guide? Yeah. 2, yeah, 2,000. Jesus. You know? So I feel that's this is much. a big scam. Like because that's too much. Even he's shocked. He's like, what? Yeah. You know? That's a scam. In Asia, I feel never so take bad. a guide. Please, let me say, in Asia, please don't book a guide. Yeah, because imagine paying a thousand for a guide. So that was too much as I'm being told right now. And also even paying coming here because apparently it's free of charge. You know, so I, I can't get it. So I feel so bad. I feel like crying. <laughs> I feel so bad about it. Oh, guys, you know. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section because apparently that's a scam. Even if I was supposed to pay to the guide, it wasn't supposed to be 1,000. It's supposed to be how much? 200. 100. In fact, 100 is okay. So, I am so tired. <laughs> My no, but, energy is already going down. Next time you know you don't need a guide. That's it. Yeah. You but you know, Google. yeah, but you know the way they, they were putting it, it's like you need a guide to get in here. Are you yeah. getting? Like you need a guide to yeah. get in here and you need that's to pay right. at the same time. So, yeah. when you are new, you think that's the rule or that's the law of the country where it's not. So how do you feel when you get scammed in Africa? Hey, for me, I don't get scammed because I'm used to African. So if they try to scam me, I say, I'm just one of you. I'm African. So it gets normal. Yeah, I feel so bad. Man. <laughs> Actually, let me tell you guys, as you travel, it's easy to be scammed where it's not home because they know you don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know, but when I'm home, you can't scam me in Africa. How? Yeah. Even if you scam me, like it's not so direct like that. Yeah, exactly. People who scam me are yeah. taxi people, you know? Uh -huh. You know, because they know I don't know where I'm really going 100%, but not being scammed like in a public place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know where rules should be followed strictly and ensure the environment is safe for foreigners, which is not a good thing. The one thing is, in Africa you don't need to get scammed by people so easily because the <laughs> government is already like scamming you by asking you $50 for national parks. <laughs> so the government is already a scam man. <laughs> okay, that's Garima's wondering with pain idea. I don't know what no, you think what about you think? that. <laughs> no, no, no. For, yeah, but for locals, you know. But I don't think that's more of a scam because also in Asia, we yeah. pay, but it's not high like that. Yeah. You know, it's not high. Okay. If for you, you know? it's $10. For mm -hmm. us, it can be 20 Yeah. But 50 60 $70. That's too much. But so, it's okay. Yeah, those are our experiences as yeah. we travel, as, as we travel. You know, it's different, you know, depending on where you are traveling. She gets scammed in Africa, I get scammed in Asia. Asia exactly. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation. Actually, uh, 
I laugh it out. Mm -hmm. The scams. And yeah. they also do the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always show people avoid this person. People will scam me and I get a chance to record. I always warn people so that in future, if you want to travel, you should be aware of this. So, guys, next time, if you come. Java coffee. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Java coffee. She's so excited. I'll show you later. So, if you ever come to this place again, it's called the Daba Square. Daba Square. Yeah. Okay. Please. Don't. He's a local here now. Yeah, please don't pay you know like a thousand to the guys that's nonsense that's a scam and also the entry fee it's free of charge apparently so don't, don't worry about anything don't pay because it's free you know exactly. <laughs> anyway guys that was my idea i don't know what to think about it so in case you're seeing my face for the first time my name is d mwango from kenya in africa now traveling in asia and her name is wandering with paint from india, india. travel yes. guru in africa, africa. Yes. <laughs> she loves African men yes. so much. <laughs> my mom will watch this video, my friend. <laughs> my mom will call me. Hey, what about it? <laughs> but not in a bad way. Loving. Yeah. Okay, the way I can say I love Asian but men, it doesn't mean something. Oh, 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 yes, yes. I want to talk, please. <laughs> okay, so, you know, African men are very respectful and they don't look at women badly or something and they respect women. Uh -huh. Especially when whatever you are wearing and you are walking on the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I want to say. Okay, yes. okay. Me also, guys, I feel Asian men are really nice. <laughs> they help me a lot. They love me unconditionally. And I feel they are more direct. You know, when, uh -huh. an, Af when an Asian man sees you, he'll be like, oh, yo, you are so beautiful. You remember yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the other yeah. day? A man just stopped and he's like, you are so beautiful. I can't believe it. You know, maybe we should go this way. Then I was like, oh, thank you so much. So they are more direct and open. And like yeah. our African men, you know, they'll hide around the bush. They won't tell you. Know, you. you know, African men, what they say? <laughs> Hi, you are very beautiful, huh? <laughs> Man. So it is what it is, but anyway, it depends. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe, that's the best way to support us. We travelers, okay? So, this street right now is called Freak Street. Freak Street, yeah, because yesterday I was scammed, but at least I know. <laughs> oh, okay. I know, yeah, I know. They have amazing coffee shops at the back. Maybe she'll go and have some coffee because java is known in africa very much you know everywhere you go you'll find java okay so maybe we'll go there later but this is how it is in the evening it's so chill and uh, yeah it's nice so i think i want to end this video right now i was just so upset about the scam i decided i have to make this video no matter what you know <laughs> so thank you so much for watching once more i love you guys remember to subscribe for more videos from Nepal in Asia. So until next time, bye bye.